Hello my dear friends, today I am here with another video and this is going to be extremely important because it's on Romeo and Juliet, the play which is written in 16th century by William Shakespeare and um, in Elizabethan time it was a wonderful play which was staged numerous times and uh, most of the students they have confusion that whether it is a comedy or tragedy so keep in mind it is a tragedy uh, play okay it is a tragedy because almost everyone of the play dies right so let's begin with today's mcqs on the very famous play romeo and juliet question number one what is romeo's last name option a lawrence option b Aeschylus, option C, Montague, and option D, Capulet. So here your answer is option C, that is Montague. Romeo Montague was the full name of the protagonist in Romeo Juliet. Let's see the highlighters. A way of remembering Romeo's last name is Montague is by remembering the Romeo has an M and so does Montague. So here we can take the keyword that M is there in Romeo in the same way M that is Montague is the capital question number one what is Romeo's last name option A Lawrence option B Aeschylus option C Montague and option D Capulet so here your answer is option C that is Montague. In order to remember Montague you have to remember that in Romeo there is M. Okay so from M it is Montague. So this is the key hook that you can keep in your mind. We know Romeo and Juliet is a play which is written by William Shakespeare and from there we are going to do question answers today. So be focused. Question number two, what is Juliet's last name? Option A, Montague, option B, Capulet, option C, Aeschylus, and option D, Lawrence. So it is option C, option B, Capulet. In order to remember it, you have to remember Juliet's. In order to remember Juliet's last name, you have to remember the last word of her surname that is Capulet and last name of hers that is Juliet, T.T. Okay, so by this you can remember the surname of Juliet easily. Question number three, where in Italy is Romeo and Juliet set? Option A, Rome, option B, Verona, option C, Florence and option D, Milan. Here, option B is correct that is Verona. Verona is a city in Italy and this is the place where renowned Romeo and Juliet play was staged, was set sorry. Highlighter says the play is set in Verona, Italy. Verona still exists in northern Italy. Let's move to question number four. Who first recognizes Romeo at the Capulet party? Option A, Juliet. Option B, Paris. Option C, Lady Capulet. And option D, Tibald. Here, it is Tibald who notices, who recognizes Juliet at the Capulet party. Let's see the highlighters. Tibald hears Romeo's voice and immediately tells Lord Capulet that Romeo is at their party. Romeo was not supposed to have been at the party because he wasn't invited. Primarily because he is a Montague and both families don't get along. Question number 5. Who stabs Mercutio? Option A. Peter. Option B. Tibalt. Option C. Benvolio. And option D. Romeo. So here your answer is option B that is Tibalt. Let's see the highlighters. Tibald stabs Mercutio during a sword fight 
when Romeo stands in front of him and Tybalt stabs Mercutio under Romeo's arm. Question number six. What were Mercutio's last words? Option A. Oh, find him. Give this ring to my true knight and bid him come to take his last farewell. Option B. Help me into some houses. Benvolio or I shall faint. A plague on both your houses. They were made worms. Meat of me. I have it. And soundly too. Your houses. Option C. For never was a story of more woe than this of Romeo, of Juliet and her Romeo. Option D. Two households, both alike in dignity in fair Verona, where we lay our scene from ancient grudge break to one mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. So here option B is correct. That is, help me into some houses, Benvolio, or I shall faint. A plague on both your houses. They have made worms meat of me. I have it, and soundly too, your houses. So these were the last words of Mercutio. Highlighter says, Juliet says, Oh, find him. These lines were at the end of Act 3, Scene 2. For more was the lines, last lines of the play. The third choice, two households, both etc. are the beginning line of the play. Question number 7. Why does Lord Capulet threaten to disown Juliet? Option A. She plans to move to Mantua. Option B. She married Romeo behind his back and confronted him about it. Option C. She isn't upset over Tybalt. Option D. She won't follow her father's arranged marriage plans. So here option D is correct. That is, she won't follow her father's arranged marriage plans. Lord Capulet wants Juliet to marry Paris and Juliet won't agree to it. Therefore, he says he will disown Juliet from his property. Question number 8. How are Tybalt and Juliet related? Option A. They aren't related. Option B. They are brother and sister. Option C. They are cousins. Option D. Tybalt is her uncle. So here option C is correct, that is, they are, they are cousins. Juliet and Tybalt are cousins and are both Capulets. Tybalt being related to Juliet is why Romeo is related to Tybalt after marrying Juliet. Option Question number 9. Who does Juliet marry? Option A. Tybalt. Option B. Romeo. Option C. Mercutio and option D Paris. So here option B is correct. It is well known fact Romeo was married to Juliet. Let's see the highlighters. Romeo and Juliet get married without their parents permission. Please keep this thing in mind. Without their parents permission. They, met, they meet at a Capulet party where Romeo wasn't supposed to attend. Question number 10. What is the friar's plan for Juliet to avoid getting married to Paris? Option A. A portion that will make her look dead. Option B. Stand up to her parents and tell them the truth. Option C. Leave Verona. Option D. Tell her parents about her marriage with Romeo. Here option A is correct. That is a portion, a liquid that will make her look dead. Let's see the highlighters. The friar comes up with a plan in mind and a potion. He plan, his, sorry, his plan is to give it to Juliet and when she takes it to, takes it one day before her wedding with Paris, it will appear as if she was dead but she won't be. 
This plan will prevent her from having to marry Paris and avoid confronting her parents about the truth about her marriage with Romeo. Question number 11. Who finds Juliet dead in her bed? Option A. Romeo. Option B. Lord Capulet. Option C. The nurse. And option D. Lady Capulet. So here it is option C which is correct that is the nurse. The nurse finds Juliet dead in the bed. The nurse is the first to see Juliet and notifies her parents. Question number 12. What happened that caused Romeo to fail to receive the letter notifying him about the friars involving the potion? Option A. The person he sent to deliver the message could not find Romeo. Option B. He never sent a letter. Option C. An outbreak of plague. Option D. The person he sent to deliver the message got lost. Here option C is correct that is an outbreak of plague. The city of Friar John had to pass through was having an outbreak of plague and he was not permitted to leave the city. So because of this Romeo did not get the information about Juliet. Question number 13. Who arrives at the Capulet's tomb first? Option A, Lord Capulet. Option B, Romeo. Option C, Paris. Option D, Friar Lawrence. So it is option C, Paris, who arrives at the Capulet's tomb first. Paris got to the tomb first before Romeo could arrive. Paris comes to the tomb to see Juliet. Question number 14. What do Juliet, Romeo, Lady Montague, Mercutio, Tybalt have in common? Option A. They have nothing in common. Option B. Option B. They were the only ones who survived. Option C. They all. Option D. They are all related. Option C is correct. That is in the play all are dead. Question, uh, let's see the highlighters. Paris, Juliet, Romeo, Lady Montague, Mercutio, Tybalt, all dead but of different causes. Because of different causes in the play. Romeo and Juliet kill themselves. Lady Montague dies off stage but mentioned in Act 5 after her son is banished. Both Mercutio and Tybalt die in a sword fight. Question number 15. Who is lying in the same crypt as Juliet? Option A. Lady Capulet. Option B. The nurse. Option C. Lord Capulet. And option D. Tybalt. So here option D is correct. That is Tybalt. Tybalt is lying in the same crypt as Juliet. Since Tybalt is also a Capulet, he was also in the Capulet's tomb. Question number 16. What is Paris' last request? Option A. That Romeo suffer for his death. Option B. He doesn't have a last request. Option C. To know all the truth. Option D. To be buried in the tomb with Juliet. So it is correct. That is option D. Let's see the highlighters. Paris just wants to be with Juliet, showing that he does not have real feelings for Juliet. Paris just wants to be with Juliet, showing that he does have real feelings for Juliet. Question number 17. How does Juliet die? Option A. She uses leftover potion. Poison, sorry. Option B, she uses a happy dagger. Option C, she doesn't die. Option D, she uses a gun. Option B is correct, that is she uses a happy dagger in order to kill herself. She kills herself because she finds a dagger that Romeo had. 
she calls it a happy dagger because it will bring her and romeo together after death question number 18 what happens after the friars tells the truth to the prince option a he is excommunicated option b he is banished option c he is killed and option d he don't know for sure we don't know for sure so here option d is correct that is we don't know for sure question number 19 let's the highlighters first romeo's letter bears out the friar's story but the prince does not say what he will ultimately do to the friar question number 19 what do lord montague and lord capulet agree to do at the end of the play option a they have they never stop fighting option b they don't agree on anything option c they stop the feuding and uh, build gold gold statues option d they seek for more revenge here option c is correct that is stop the feuding and build gold statues both families realize that the fighting should not continue they realize that their fighting has led to the deaths of their children and it should be stopped question number 20 finish the quote for never was a story of more woe than this of option a capulet and montague option b romeo and benvolio option c juliet and paris and option d juliet and her romeo so here option d is correct that is romeo juliet and her romeo for never was a story of more woe than this of juliet and her romeo it was the famous last line of the play said by the prince so friends by this we have completed few of the important questions from romeo and juliet we will come with other question answers very soon till then prepare well and be with us